If you are experiencing pain when you lift your arm, either out to the side or overhead in front of you, this video is for you. I'm gonna help you understand why this pain is happening and walk you step-by-step step through my number one technique to help that pain go away fast. Hey guys, I'm Alicia from mobilitymastery.com and using the exact formula I'm about to share with you, I've been able to help hundreds of people in my private practice getting people out of pain to get back to their racket sports, to go back to swimming, to holding their kids without pain, and you know, basically living their lives without worrying about pain when they lift their arm out to the side or overhead. First, I wanna help you understand why this pain is happening because I believe when we understand why pain is happening, it stops being scary. And I don't want you to be afraid of this pain. I want you to feel empowered to do something about it and I want to kind of problem solve where this might be coming from. You might be doing something in your life that's causing it and we can kind of figure that out. So you can either stop doing it or know that you'll have to take care of your body to be able to do the movements that you're doing. So there's an anatomical rule that we are governed by that this kind of pain pattern of lifting your arm and then having pain has to do with and it's called reciprocal inhibition. So I've been working with clients since 2008 and I've learned over the years to always ask this question when there's pain through a specific range of motion. Now this is very different than, you know, if your shoulder hurts and you're just standing here and you're not even moving and your shoulder hurts, this video probably isn't for you. But if your shoulder or any area in your arm doesn't hurt when you're just standing here and it only hurts when you're doing those specific ranges of motion, then this absolutely applies to you. I always ask this question, what is being asked to stretch but doesn't want to? Or maybe more accurately, that your brain doesn't want you to stretch because it perceives it could tear from being too tight. If you're asking your body to move a muscle that is really, really tight, either from overuse or trauma or injury, maybe you fell, it could have even been a fall from a long time ago, that's kind of now catching up to you. I've seen that with pain through a range of motion in the arm. Then your brain might stop you from performing that movement because it detects that you might tear something or further injure yourself. So it's gonna ping you with pain to get you out of that range of motion. But here's where mo what most people don't understand. What's hurting right now isn't the problem. So I don't even really care where your pain is. It could be on the front of your shoulder, it could be here, it could be moving down your arm. It doesn't really matter because what really matters is the exact movement you're doing that's causing the pain and looking to whatever muscle is being asked to stretch through that specific range of motion. Now, there's one muscle that these two movements of going to the side and arm overhead have in common and that would be the latissimus dorsi or the lat muscle. Now, if your lat is either traumatized or shortened or inhibited for some reason and it can't perform that movement, your brain's gonna get you out of it with a pain signal and make you put it back into its shortened position. So one of the best things to do for pain through these ranges of motion is to actually release your lat fascia and stop paying attention to the area that hurts. In other words, stop massaging it or digging into it or thinking that that spot is the problem. Now, having said all that, I do have to say that there certainly are complex cases out there. So this is a general rule of a really good place to start, whether you have a complex injury in this area or it's just pretty simple and this might take care of it. But this is a great place to start. It won't take care of all cases, but definitely give this a try. So now I'm gonna walk you through my lat release and you are gonna need a foam roller. So go grab a foam roller that is preferably semi-soft, not crazy hard, and definitely not one of those knobby ones. We're gonna be working the side body here. It's a little bit ribby. Those ribs have a lot of nerves in them. It's a sensitive area. I don't like using a crazy hard roller on there. So go grab your roller and come follow along. get down on the ground like I am right now. I'm gonna target my left lat and rear deltoid area. Um, so my back leg is planted on the ground behind the same side leg as the arm that we're working on or the lat that we're working on. And I'm gonna be able to lift myself up 
and put weight on the roller. So you'll, if this is the first time you're doing this technique, you're gonna want to hunt around a bit in this kind of lat rear deltoid area to find those spots that are tender and sore that hurt a lot and you're not really gonna want to be on there on the roller, but that is a good indication. It's the best bang for your buck and it'll give you the best result if you're willing to go there. So now that I'm in kind of like under my armpit, this is just a great place to start. I'm gonna lift up with that back leg so my hips are coming off the ground. I'm adding weight onto the roller. Now, if having your arm out um, in that overhead uh, position hurts anything, I want you to bring it down. So you're gonna start down here and do some little rocking back and forth, rolling on the roller and rotating your arm. And then I want you to pause, with the, pause the arm and roll your torso back and forth to find the spot you need to be working on. So let's say in that range of motion, you find something really tender back here. That's a great place to hang out for a little while. So you could do little baby movements where you're trying to do that lifting motion with your arm, but the goal is to get it all the way into that overhead position. Now I like to roll and I'm using my left heel right now to help. So I'm kind of bending my knee and then straightening it as my left arm is rolling or rotating back and forth. Now I might roll back into that deltoid even more. There's some good stuff back there. Or I might move the roller a little bit more down into my ribs. And then I'm gonna do the same thing back and forth. Now that is a really good spot on me. That sucks a lot to do right now. So I'm gonna hang out there and reach that arm as far as I can while rotating. Keep it out there and I'm gonna go kind of back and forth, just kind of trying to shear some of those tissues and get them released. And then I'm gonna go back into that rolling and reaching and bending. So we got bending, straightening, rotating with a straight arm. If having your hips off the ground is just too dang much, it's too much sensation, and you can't even think about what you're doing with your arm, bring your butt down to the ground, that's totally fine. So you can hang out here and just do your hunting without your hips up, totally fine place to start. But do work up to this because you're gonna get the best result if you can add more weight. I also wanna give you guys something you can do if that overhead straight arm just doesn't feel right or if you wanna try this because it's gonna get that tissue a little differently. Now I'm on my right side this time. I wanted to even myself out just while demoing this. So if you feel uneven, definitely go to the other side even if that arm doesn't have pain. Uh, but what I wanna show you is this is a really great um, place to start if straightening that arm just isn't working right now if you have pain. So just keep your hand a little bit flexed to pull that tissue tight. We're bent at the elbow and I'm gonna use my humerus movement. So moving from my shoulder to my elbow to kind of grab that tissue by squeezing in and then stretching it out by pointing that elbow as far out as we can. Now, I'm gonna roll into this tissue kind of like in my armpit. It's almost the subscalp more than lats, kind of that junction. And that is some really good stuff to get right there. So I'm kind of squeezing it in and reaching out. And now this is also good. I'm just kind of figuring this out here with you guys. So kind of scrubbing back and forth, hand forward, elbow almost going parallel to the roller and then reaching it out or backwards again. So backwards, forwards movement, and then hand here and elbow out. So those two are awesome. They're gonna do a lot of good. And you notice I'm not even lifted off the ground. I don't really need to be. I want to kind of lean into the roller with my body weight of just my torso for this one because I want to control this movement. So definitely give that one a try too. Okay, hey, did you try the lat release that I just walked you through? Definitely comment below because I want everybody out there searching for relief from this type of pain to know that they can get out of pain. So if you had a great experience, make sure to comment below. If you have questions, also comment below. And if you liked this video, of course, then give me a thumbs up.
And I don't want to leave those of you totally hanging if you feel like this helped some, but it wasn't a full solution. So I want to give you at least one other thing you can try, and that is to release your posterior deltoids and maybe some of the other rotator cuff muscles back here. So anything back here is going to be a great place to go and I have a really good shoulder grease technique for getting into that pocket where so much gunky tissue can get stuck here. And when you release it, it should help significantly in those two ranges of motion of lifting your arm or raising it overhead. So we've linked to that video here. You can also find it in the description below this video. So go give that one a try as well. If you're new here, of course, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified of new videos. They go out every single week. And as always, I hope you're learning to trust your body so you can adventure through life with confidence. See you next time, guys. Thank you